Hey guys, before we begin this video, I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. And now, on with the video. Hey YouTube, I'm back with another state park video, and this time we're going to have a look at Dolliver State Park in central Iowa. In Webster County, just 10 miles south of Fort Dodge, is Dolliver State Park. This nearly 600-acre park is located in high bluffs and ravines along the banks of the Des Moines River. This park was named after Jonathan Dolliver, a senator from West Virginia who would take his practice of law to Fort Dodge and later ended up becoming the Republican senator for Iowa from the 1880s to the early 1900s. Near the northernmost part of the park is a narrow ravine called Boneyard Hollow. When settlers were making their way into central Iowa, they found several bison bones at the bottom of the ravine. Sometime later, archaeologists would find more bones here and came to a conclusion that this ravine was used for bison hunts by ancient indigenous Iowans, also known as buffalo jumps. This area of Iowa was once part of the woodland culture that stems back over 1,000 years ago. Several effigy mounds are found within the park and are hikeable in the southeast end of the park. And stay off of the mounds when you get to them! When 1925 rolled around, Dolliver became the third state park in Iowa not long after Ledges and Backbone became state parks. The CCC went into the park in the 30s, creating the roads, trails, and many of the structures, including several footbridges. In 1915, this part of Iowa had been part of a supposed hoax conjured up by two teens claiming that a stone tablet written in Latin had been left by explorers claiming the local lands for France in 1750 by Father Louis Hennepin. And of course, I'm probably going to get roasted for not pronouncing that right, so go ahead and do that. Of course, the head of the Iowa State History Archives, Edgar Harlan, got word of the said tablet and started an investigation only to discover that the tablet had terribly written Latin and that Father Louis Hennepin had passed away in 1704. And after spending some time in this area and being near all the scenic parts of central Iowa, Harlan got the idea of starting up the Iowa State Park system. Some of the activities in the park include wildlife viewing and bird watching. Come springtime, several types of wildflowers will be in bloom, such as the wild prairie rose. Dolliver has five trails to hike. Boneyard Trail, River Trail, which is along the Des Moines River, Center Trail, Cupris Trail, a trail that will take you to sandstone formations, and Indian Trail, which is more rugged and will take you to bluff tops and effigy mounds. Fishing can be done at the Des Moines River. Just remember to get your state fishing license and everything should be fine. If you want to stay overnight, Dolliver has two cabins and 22 electric sites, but trailers and RVs are not allowed in the park, and reservations can be done online through the Iowa DNR website. Obviously, Fort Dodge is the nearest town if you need gas or food. And if you're looking to do any more outdoor activities, Brushy Creek State Recreation Area is close by and has almost 7,000 acres of land and has a 700-acre lake. Okay, so that's going to do it for another Iowa State Park video, and as usual, I left a link to the Iowa DNR website for the state park if you want more information, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!